your phone, an important Windows 10 app. I'm Huey Poplock. Your phone is an app that runs on your PC. It's pre-installed in recent Windows 10 updates. And if not, it is available to download from the Microsoft Store. To find out if you already have the app on your PC, in the search box on the taskbar, type in your phone and select your phone from the results. If your phone is not in your app list, open Microsoft Store in the app list. And in the search box at the top of the store page, type in your phone. If it is there, this is what it will look like. If you click on Microsoft Store and you already have installed your phone, you'll see the box at the top that I've got in outlined in red. If that's not there, that means you have to get the app and it is free and you just click the app and follow the directions. Here is a description of it. Once you have your phone app installed on your PC, follow the directions to install the app on your phone. When you open your phone app for the first time, the steps vary depending upon how you've previously used Windows and various Microsoft mobile apps. Here are some of the things that it might ask you to do on your PC and on your phone. In the search box on the taskbar, type in your phone and then select your phone from the results. Sign into your Microsoft account. Or it might say enter your mobile phone number so it can send you a link to install a companion app on your phone. The specific app set varies depending upon the type of phone you have. Typically, they will send you the Your Phone Companion app for Android. When you receive the text message from Microsoft, tap the link to install the companion app on your phone. Open the companion app on your phone and follow the setup instructions. If you're prompted to sign into the companion app, be sure to use the same Microsoft account that you're using on your PC. Accept notifications on your phone that request access to your photos and other related permissions. After you've completed the setup process on your Android phone and PC, you'll be able to use the Your Phone app to see your most recent photos from your phone and to send text messages from your PC. If you have an iPhone, you'll be able to send web pages from Microsoft Edge on your phone to Microsoft Edge on your PC. Here's what it looks like. Note, if you followed all of the setup steps and the connection is not working on your PC, select settings and make sure photos and messages are set to on. The Your Phone app on Windows 10 lets you link your phone and PC to unlock a variety of cross-device experiences for Android. See recent photos from your phone on your PC for Android only and view and send text messages from your PC for Android only. Android users get the best integration. The Your Phone app is a powerful and often overlooked part of Windows 10. If you're already an Android user, you can use it to text right from your PC, see all your phone's notifications, and quickly transfer photos. If you have the right phone and PC, you can even use your phone app to mirror your phone screen and see it on your PC. Unfortunately, the iPhone users won't get any of that. Apple restrictions uh, prevent that level of integration. iPhone users can set up your phone app to send web pages back and forth between their phones and PCs, but that's about it. How to transfer photos from your PC using your phone. Windows 10's Your Phone app shows recent photos and screenshots you've taken on your Android phone. The last 25 photos and screenshots uh, you've taken will show up when you click on the photos on the right sidebar. From there, you can either drag a photo to a folder in the File Explorer 
or right click and choose copy or save as and move them to your PC. Additionally, you can select share and send the photo via text or email. It sounds minor, but avoiding the hassle of connecting your phone to your PC or jumping through hoops with Google Photos or OneDrive is a feature that can save a lot of time. So what, I, what you have here is the app, your phone on the left, and I just take one of the screenshots and I dragged it over my file manager and just before I let go, a, a picture of it is there. When I let go, it creates it on my PC. If you need to transfer an older image, you'll have to connect your phone to your PC via cable, transfer them with a cloud service like OneDrive, or send them via email. How to text from your Windows 10 PC with an Android phone. The Your Phone app displays all of your text message conversations from your phone. You can send responses to see incoming text messages all in one place. Your conversations update to match your phone, so if you delete a thread from your phone, it will disappear from your PC as well. And here's what it will look like in your PC. Texting from the Your Phone app is straightforward, and the general layout may remind you of email. Click the On Messages in the left sidebar, and you should see all of your current text messages. If you don't, try clicking Refresh. Click on the message thread you want to respond to, like you would the subject of an email, and type into the Enter a Message box to respond. You can also scroll through your text messages history if you want to refer back to an older message. Here's what it looks like. The Your Phone app is able to mirror notifications from your phone to your PC. Notifications from your Android phone will appear on your PC and clearing the notification from your PC will clear it from your phone. You can customize which apps show notifications on your PC, either to limit them to notifications you care about or prevent doubles. Unfortunately, all you can do is clear the notifications. While more recent versions of Android allow for notification interactions, like responding to a message, that functionality isn't mirrored to your PC. Clearing the notifications from your phone PC app also clears them from your Android phone. Overall, the Your, the your Phone app is an unsung hero of Windows 10. It provides real value by letting you reach for the phone less often, whether that's to answer a text, check a notification, or move some pictures. If you haven't tried it out yet and you have an Android phone, you should give it a chance. You may be pleasantly surprised by what you find. Now, how does Microsoft Your Phone app work with an iPhone? We just connect connected our Android phone to your phone app, and things are very different for the iPhone. That's because the app has many limitations in the case of the iPhone. You do not get as many powers as available for Android phones. That is, you cannot accept, you cannot sync messages, notifications, or even photos as available on the Android. Then what does the app do? Well, it lets you send links from the supported apps such as a web browser, a YouTube, Pinterest, and, and more from your iPhone to the Windows PC. By doing so, the links will open directly on your system. For instance, if you are reading an interesting article on any browser on your iPhone, then you can continue to read it on your computer using your iPhone app. In short, it connects iPhone and Windows in a different way than Android. The timeline also lets you view the recently opened and edited Microsoft files from Excel, Word, and so on on the iPhone. The files must have been saved to the cloud, and only then can you view them on your timeline. 
Clicking on a file and timeline will open it directly on your PC without you having to open any other app. Besides sharing links, you can also keep track of pages visited via the Edge browser on the iPhone. That's done via the timeline feature on Windows. You can click on the web page and timeline and it will load on your PC. Here is an article you might want to take a look at, how to link Microsoft Your Phone app to iPhone on Windows, and there is a link there to go to. Let's review by showing some screenshots. If you want to get to your phone app on the taskbar, look for it down on the lower left. Uh, the number in the circle is how many current notifications are on your app from your phone. You can also get it using the All Apps list, or if you have it on your Start menu, you can click on it from your Start menu. Or you can type in the search box and click on Your Phone app at the top of the page. Here's what it looks like. First, we have the notifications. These have to be turned on on your phone as to which ones will pop up on your notifications. And you can control which apps you want to have notifications from. When you go to the messages, you can see a list of all the messages that you have gotten on your phone. You click on one of them it will open that, uh, that conversation up. If you move down to photos, you'll see a whole bunch of photos that you've taken. You can then, you can then copy them over to your PC. You can also make and receive calls right on your PC. There's no need to search for your phone to answer personal or work calls. Stay connected by answering calls right on your PC and use your PC speakers, microphone, and larger screen for a richer calling experience. Here I am dialing, calling my own iPhone, but I just dialed in the number on the right, and it connected to uh, the phone and dialed the number from the phone and was waiting for me to answer. Now in settings, you've got a lot of settings in your app. There are general settings. Uh, you want to show the badges. That's that little number that shows how many mess notifications that you have. And uh, you have some settings there. You can have more than one device. And then you can turn several things in your features on and off. Let's take a look at them a little closer. There are photos you got to turn on. Messages uh, allow this app to show text messages from my phone, allow this to send, and so on, attachments. And you can read, I don't have to read all of these to you, and you can take a look on your phone, because it may be different on your phone. And then there's some notifications, which ones you want on. And same thing with calls. You want to allow this app to make and manage calls from your phone, you can turn that off. And, but still get your messages, photos, and notifications. Under personalization, you can have wallpaper, you can have an audio player in multiple windows. And then of course you got help and feedback and about. Your phone, an important Windows 10 app. I'm Huey Poplock. Thank you for joining us today.